Max, a few days later, how's it all settled in? Uh, oh, I mean, we're doing the interview, so I, I should give a little bit. It's like I haven't really thought about it, is the answer. But I'll try and sum it up. We gave ourselves a really good chance to, to play some good finals footy. Second on, on, on the ladder in a tough season, in a very competitive season, off the back of one of our biggest campaigns ever that didn't really stop, to be honest. We probably went straight into another pre-season. It's been a big campaign, um, mixed around of COVID and whatnot. And to be able to come out second, like it's a tremendous effort. I know it's a bit of a tail in the first half, the second half of the year, but we still managed to, to get second and have two home finals and put ourselves in a really good position. And um, we ran into a hot team in Sydney. It was an unbelievable contest. Um, one of the better finals that then got eclipsed by all the other games, but I felt like it was a good final. And then, yeah, we were set up really well to be able to perform on the weekend. And some habits that we learned during the second half of the year come out in both finals. And um, it was a same old Melbourne story with some of those stats with winning the, con winning the contested ball, winning the forward half game, but losing games of footy. Um, so it gives a fair bit of homework to do. Um, not necessarily me for the first few weeks. Hopefully Goody will look at a, a bit of that and um, we come back fresh and ready to go. Given what we achieved last year and then the feeling of what you've got right now, is that what drives you and helps motivate you for next year? Uh, yes, I mean, I'm, I've been motivated every year of my career. Um, next year, no more than those. Like I, I, I go into every season wanting to make the best it possibly can be. and. Um, now, right now, when you're watching other finals and you're not involved and you've been involved last year, um, the difference between watching finals when you're A, involved, B, you used to be involved, or C, early in my career when you're never involved, they're completely different. Um, right now, it's extreme jealousy, like extreme jealousy. It's a feeling that you know you've had. Um, you feel like you probably should be there, but really you probably weren't because you got found out with habits that were in your game for the last maybe eight, nine weeks of the season. So I think after watching a few more finals to answer your question, yeah, there probably will be a bit more motivation, but um, I'm a competitive prick. I'll run the house down in the off season. I'll be training the house down. I'll try and bring as many guys with me to do the same thing. And we'll come back day one, do it all again. And um, I think that feeling of walking off the ground after the Brisbane game will, will stick in our heads for a little bit longer. Footy's, footy's an amazing sport. Like, there's 18 teams. Only one is seen as a success. Maybe a few teams down the bottom of the ladder that are improving are seen as a successful year, but only the Premier is going to be seen as really a successful year and all the other 17 teams have to go away and work on something. Um, and they're all great teams. Um, the four prelim teams all deserve it immensely. The eight finals teams deserved it immensely. It was two teams out of the finals that deserved to be in there. Um, prelims from last year, Port missed the finals. Doggies just scraped in and got eighth. Um, so it's a crazy competition. That's why we love it. That's why we come back and want to play it. Um, I actually forget what your question was initially, but I feel like I've answered something. Given the nature of the last two years, how was it being back in Melbourne? Uh, yeah, it was good. It was good. Like, I must admit, and um, once the ball was bounced, footy's footy. Um, empty stadiums is a different story, but um, some of the stuff we did over in Perth was still amazing once the ball's bounced, but to be in Melbourne for a finals campaign, friends and family, people asking for tickets all, 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 all of a sudden, um, it was unique. Unfortunately, we weren't able to get a win with those big crowds. Um, we had a, a really good one against Carlton, which was, which was something. There was a big crowd there and that was like an elimination final. Um, but yeah, the, it, that leaves another bit of taste. Is, um, and I'm not ashamed of using that line that we wanted to win it for our fans and all of a sudden we don't win it. So does that mean we didn't want to win it for our fans? No, um, I'm, I'm not ashamed of using that line. I, I, I think that was clearly some of our motivation. Um, we just ran into a really, really hot team first week of the finals. And like I said before, we weren't necessarily playing our best football. We we're hoping we could find it. We had a really good game against Brisbane uh, around 23 and we we're hoping that was our stepping point. But um, Sydney showed that their back half of the year was probably better than ours. It's not easy to win it any year. It's also not easy to win back and back. I think the history sort of shows that. You've got Geelong 07, 9, 11, Richmond 2017, 2019. Do you feel like this group still is incredibly close to achieving it again? Uh, oh, it's a great list profile. Not that I'm in list management, but um, you can take a, a lot off like if, if we're talking best players in the competition, best guys in the last three or four years. You've got 
you've got three guys that have signed for six or seven years that are all in that all in that picture. Um, you got one who might win a brown line in a couple of weeks. You got one who's a, a three-time All Australian uh, in Christian Petracca, who is um, we can all agree at his best is one of the most powerful players in the comp. And then Angus Brayshaw who's also signed for an extended period of time. So these guys have all committed for long jeopardy. Um, they've got really good guys around them. So I'm still confident we're in the right position. Um, in the end, we still finished second, able to play two home finals. Um, so I'm still confident that we're, we're right at that point. Um, and it is bloody hard to go back to back. Like winning one was, was hard. That was a real hard campaign in 2021. It was harder this year. It was off pretty much no rest. Um, and to try and come back against teams that all wanted to beat us. Um, we, sh we, sh we struggled, we, sh we, we definitely struggled at times. Um, we lost three in a row in the middle there um, and then lost those two finals, so yeah. Speaking on that list, you got depth as well, VFL team that's playing a grand final. You must, I guess, take positives from that as well with how much youth there is in the side. Yeah, well, I mean, only a couple of weeks ago when you realised where we sat when we finished second and the VFL finished first and worked out that we both got double chances and going forward you sort of strip it all back and go, we've got a pretty good core group of 45 players. If not, maybe the best this club's had at, at any one point having 45 guys on a list. Um, so we've got to really cash in as much as we can. Um, and the VFL guys are going extremely well. There's some guys that have played some seriously good football this year that are unlucky to not be playing AFL. Luke Dunstan, um, Adam Tomlinson, Kay Chandler, Toby Bedford, these sort of names pop up straight away. Your boy Weeds. Um, and they have all had their taste at AFL this year, but they could have certainly been playing more. Um, they've got a chance. VFL Grand Final is a great stepping stone for any young player um, at Icon Park against a pretty good time team in Southport. So. Um, I did watch that game yesterday, so it's going to be good to watch. That'll wrap up on Sunday. Where to next? Obviously, a little bit of time off, but how's it look for you this off-season? Uh, the move the Brownlow forward Sunday night. So I'm VFL granny, shake a couple of hands and head off to the Brownlow as soon as possible, which um, if they win, which I hope they do, I might have to go back after the Brownlow, is my gut feel. But um, Then uh, Ed Langdon and I uh, are popping over for a little bike ride over in Europe. Um, and then I, we need a break. I just said we've been going since literally day one, 2021. Um, it's been a two year campaign. Would have been great if we were able to get two premierships out of that extremely hard campaign. But um, we, 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 we did get the one and we can sort of go away now. We've got a bit of an extended break um, and I'll get away from footy as much as I can so I can come back and be fit, ready to go, no excuses. Day one, 2023.